In this video, we're going to find the projection of u onto v and the vector component of u orthogonal to v. Just really quickly before we do the problem, let me actually explain what this is. It'll only take like 10 seconds. So say we have a vector here, and it's u. And we have another vector here, and it's v. So what are we finding in this problem? So if you take this vector u, and you drop it down onto v, you just like drop it down, okay? You get another vector here, this blue vector. This blue vector, I'll call it w1. That's the projection of u onto v. And then part b wants the vector component of u orthogonal to v. So if you take a vector and you go all the way to the top to where u ends, we'll call that w2. That's part B. That's called the vector component of U, right? It is a vector component of U orthogonal to V. It creates a 90 degree angle. Boom, there it is. And notice that U is equal to W1 plus W2. And so what would that mean? Well, that would mean that W2, you could subtract W1, right? And you would get this. So this is the formula we're going to use for part B. So for part B, We'll use this formula. Okay, let's do the problem. I just wanted to explain what's going on because a lot of times people just do these problems. It's like it's good to know a little bit. You know, it's good to know where stuff comes from. All right, so A, we need the projection of u onto v. So this is a formula. So w1 is equal to the projection of u onto v. And this is equal to, so the formula is pretty easy to memorize. It's u dot v. over the magnitude of v squared times our vector v. This is going to be the projection of u on, onto v. This is the w1 you see in the picture up here. It's like you're taking that vector u and you're just dropping it down. You're projecting it onto v. So let's go ahead and do this carefully. I'm going to go ahead and write u and v in component form just to make it easier. So u is 2i hat plus 3j hat. So in component form, um, that'll be 2 comma 3. And then v is uh, 5i hat plus j hat. So in component form, that'll be 5 comma 1. So the formula needs u dot v. Let's go ahead and do it over here uh, on the side. And you can do it in the problem. I just you know, feel like doing it on the side. So 2 times 5. So you multiply the components. And then you put a plus sign. And then 3 times 1. That's how you compute the, the dot product. So 10 plus 3. So u dot v is equal to uh, 13. And then for the magnitude of v, all you do there is you um, take the square root and you square each of the components of v. So 5 squared plus 1 squared. So that'll be 25 plus 1, so 26. Yeah, 26. And I think we're good to go now. I think now we can just um, you know, plug everything in to the formula. So this is equal to, so u dot v, we said that was uh, 13. So 13. And then the uh, magnitude squared, that's the square root of 26. And then we have v. Well, v is over here, right? v is this, this 5, 1. So it'll be 5, 5, 1. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to square it. <laughs> there we go. I was like, that's an ugly answer, but now this is beautiful. Watch this. You square the square root of 26, and you get 26. Boom. Beautiful stuff. And 13 over 26 is 1 half. So this is 1 half, 5, 1. Then distribute the 1 half. So this will be 5 halves, comma, 1 half. And that will be the projection of u onto v. For part B, all we have to do is subtract. Let's, let's squeeze it in up here, part B. So we just have to do uh, u minus w1. It's this formula here. This is the vector component of u orthogonal to v. You see it here in the picture. So w2 is equal to u, which is over here. So 2, 3. Minus um, w1, which we worked out, which is our previous answer. So 5 halves, comma, 1 half. Ooh, fraction time. So we got to think of this as, think of these as numbers over 2. So 2 is really 4 halves, and 3 is really 6 halves. And I'm doing that so we can 
actually you know perform the uh, subtraction. So let's see, four halves minus five halves is negative one half. Six halves minus one half is five halves, and so that should be. This one here should be the um, the vector component of u orthogonal to v. Everything looks okay. Yep, so that's it. So basically you just use these formulas. Use this one for the projection, and then you use this one to find the vector component of u orthogonal to v. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who's actually working on, on this type of stuff. So that's it. Good luck.